Okay, people, this is Country Joe here with his Sarah. Like, I do this like every, maybe, every two weeks or so. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant-style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. What I do, I fill this up with water, put it on the stove, let it steep, just almost boil. And I take it off and put some cereal in and let it sit there for about two hours. And this is my finished product right here. Mm. I got this. Mm. Let me show you guys what it looked like. Right here, it looked like some dried leaves. Let me see if I can come and show you. Hold on. In the store they call it Jamaica or Jamaica. Okay. See, it's it hibiscus. Look, it looked like blood red. Okay, so why you do that? Well, Why do you drink this thing? It helps to take it helps to take your pressure down. You know. And, and, and let me put my disclaimer right here. Hold on. Roll disclaimer. The Bear Pantry Show do not claim to cure, prevent, diagnose, or treat any nutrition-related disease or health condition. Always consult a qualified healthcare professional before changing your diet or medications or beginning any exercise routine. <laughs> okay, go ahead. They say it helps take your pressure down, which is true because I find out when I drink it, my blood pressure really goes down. And keep I it gotta check. go find like your last right. visit to the so, doctor to see what the blood pressure. Because you used to always have, they call it borderline high blood pressure that you had because the bottom number would be over 85, and so he brought it down under that. Go ahead. Okay, you got people who put sugar in here, or some <clears throat> cinnamon, or some ginger, whatever together, mm -hmm. but. I don't want no sugar, I just drink it straight like that. I mean, you could put whatever you want in there. And but for me, I think it's much better natural. And he decided not to put the sugar when he started to make this thing a long time ago, like three years ago he started doing that, right? Uh -huh. Since 2014, 2014. He decided not to put the sugar because then he was also borderline diabetic. His A1C was 6.4. See, I take a drink right now, see? He never went on medication, but he turned all that stuff back. Let me see this. Uh -uh. This is done. It's nice. like, got a, you got a, like a sour taste to it. But it's, it's good. Like a tart, yeah. not sour. Tart taste to it. It's good. Uh huh. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, guys, is getting ready to carve this turkey. But I have to pour this uh, macaroni off of the water because I don't want it to get too soft. Okay. Now a lot of people complain about my mac and cheese because I didn't bake it. There is recipes, or there are recipes for mac and cheese where you don't... Hello, I'm doing a whole show over here. Okay, I'm sorry. Come on, come on. I'm sorry, I'm just doing my thing too. Help me, help me turn this turkey so I can get out the stuffing baby. There are recipes for mac and cheese that you bake it. You cook it on the stove top first and bake it. I don't like those recipes, so I don't do those. You do the ones you like. I have those recipes here at the site too, okay? okay? What you want, take up the turkey. Turn the turkey over. The hand clean? Yeah. I just washed it. You want to smell it? Smell it. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like something perverts do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the stuff in order the gravy as quickly as I can because I don't want the... um. The, the bread to soak up all the gravy, or else um, you won't have no gravy with this turkey. I have to watch this pot so we put the gravy in there. Yeah, just give me a moment. I'm just taking out the stuffing, <clears throat> and then when I come back, I'm gonna start cur um, curving, curving, carving the turkey, all right? So see, look, let me show you how moist. Mmm. I shouldn't start tasting this because if I start tasting the stuffing, I will have two servings before I eat the dinner, okay? You want to show the rice and beans? Yeah. Hold on, let me get the camera off the stand. Yeah. It's... I was going to say it's nice and fluffy like me, but I'm not fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> you better got that straight. You better ask somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's not too wet. Mm. It's not dry. It's cooked. Every uh, grain of rice is cooked so you won't break out your filling. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. See. Haven't we been to parties like that for Belizean people, Joe? Mm -hmm. Where the, the rice that broke out your teeth? Yep. And that's what Joe will tell me. Don't eat the rice. You're going to break your fillings. Especially if you have false teeth. <laughs> oh, you 
burning up your hair. What? Looky, 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 looky. What? <laughs> Remember, guys, we are not buying this book. Because if you do, the only people that are making money from that book are my ex-distributor and Amazon. Pick up this book instead. This is my Belizean cookbook. It has 120 authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already, but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time. Hot off the presses, this is my second cookbook, guys. It's called The Pantry Laid Bare, and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book, all right? 111 delicious dishes from Basic Ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. Thanks guys! This is the